In this lecture snippet, I'm going to look at a disk to image copy, but rather than just being a, an image copy, I want it to be a compressed and zipped file while it's actually copying it so that my output of the file is a lot smaller to work with. So I can use it for transferring or I can use it for storage and have a smaller file to actually work with. So I still need to use the DC3DD command. Now before I do that, I want to also look to see what my hard drives are being currently listed at. So I need to do the fdisk dash L command and we're going to look here. The disk that I want to work with is currently listed as SDC and you can see SDC right here. The partition is called SDC1 and it is a 2 gigabyte flash drive. In fact it's the same flash drive I used to make this image here, flash drive.img in a previous lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and do clear. Actually I'm going to go ahead and maximize this so we can see the whole command to work with. And so what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the same thing, the sudo dc3dd command that I've used in a previous video. I still need the input file, which I just discovered was devsdc1. Now here's where the command gets a little bit different. Rather than the output file option, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe it in or basically send the output of this command into another command option, which is going to be the g zip command and that's going to take the output of my DC3DD and send it to the gzip utility which is going to compress it. Now the default option is dash 6 and you do not have to have that in there. This is the a good balance of compression as well as speed. If you wanted a less compressed file you could go all the way down to 1. If you wanted a more compressed file you can go to dash 9 and leave that in there for the files. I'm actually going to leave the default as dash 6 and so I'll actually just keep the dash 6 in there as an option. You do not need to have that in there as a command but I'll leave that in there so you can see. I'm going to use now the redirector symbol which is going to be the greater than and this is going to take the output of gzip and send it to a file and so what we'll do now is type in a file. So I'm going to type in the forward slash home forward slash my username is lecture snippets forward slash, I'm going to send it to my desktop, and I'm going to call this one zipped flash. Now the extension on this one is going to be a little bit different. I actually want it to be a compressed file and, and let it see that it's a zipped file. So I'm going to type in gz, uh, which is a typical expression for a file that's been zipped with gzip. So there we go. We've got the file listed here. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter now. It's going to run through the process of actually taking this disk image, putting it onto my desktop as a compressed file. And when it's finished, I'll take a look at it. And so now you can see that the file has actually completed transferring over. And you can see that there are no errors, zero bad sectors. It's the whole two gigs for this one's registers as 1.9 gigs. And let's go ahead. I'm going to close this because I want to look to see that my image, there it is. You see that it is presented in a little bit different fashion than just the image file itself. And If I right click on it and go to the properties, I can actually see that it's currently listed as 1.1 gigabytes in size, even though it was a 2 gigabyte flash drive. Now if I do the same thing for the original image that I had copied in the previous video, you'll see that one's listed as 2 gigabytes. So this one compressed it almost in half when I did this image. And so this is why the gzip is a good option to use to compress an image and have a smaller one to work with. Now to actually use this for forensics, I'm going to go ahead and open back up the terminal, you will need to uncompress it. And so with that said, I'm going to just navigate using the cd command over to the desktop. So I'll just say cd desktop and hit enter. And now that I'm in this desktop area, I'm going to go ahead now and unzip this zipped file so I can show you how to do that. We're going to do g unzip and then I'll type in zipped and then hit tab and finish it in. And this will should unzip it for me. If I hit enter it's going to go through the process of unzipping this file and you can see that it's unzipped it. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and right click on the file. It's actually still working on the process. It's still working until we get to the terminal prompt. So we're waiting for that to appear again once it's finished. And you can see that it's finished now and I've got my prompt which means it's done. So this has been zipped. You can see that the original compressed file has gone away. If I were to right click on this one now, go to properties, it is restored back to the 2 gigabyte flash drive that we had. 
So this completes the using the DC3DD command to take a disk compressed image of a particular hard drive.